In this video, we're going to show you how to add a button to your revolution slider. So here on my screen, we see a revolution slider and it has these two buttons. So let's take a look at this slider in the back end. Here in my admin panel, I'm going to click on slider revolution and I'm going to open up my slider. Now, if you're building a slider from scratch, Probably the easiest way to add a button is to add a new layer and then select button. As we can see, Slider Revolution offers us the option of adding a button. And here on the right, we see there are several predefined styles that we can choose from. I'm going to click on this button here. All right. And if you click on the Style tab, over here, you will see some design options. For example, you can change the typography of the button. You can also change the colors. If you click on the Actions tab here, here you can add a link to your button. So I'm going to click on Simple Link. And over here, you can enter the link for your button. And this should work as expected. All right, I'm going to delete this button. Now, if you've imported a slider from one of our demo sites, instead of seeing buttons, you might see some text that looks like this. So I'm going to click on one of these text blocks. I'm going to click on the content tab. And over here, we can see that this button was actually added by pasting a button shortcode into a text layer. So this is the button that I have selected. And you can modify this button by simply modifying the shortcode here. For example, here where it says text, currently the text is contact us, so you can change this text as you wish. Here where it says link, you can enter your own link. And over here we see some color options. Now, if you're not comfortable with modifying the code this way, then you can create a button from scratch and you can replace this short code with your own. So let's see how that can be done. I'm going to exit the slider. I'm going to navigate to pages and I'm going to click on add new. So let's say that I want to replace this contact us button with a purchase button. I'm going to create a purchase button here on this page and then I'm going to grab its shortcode. So let's add a title for this page. I'm going to open up WordPress Bakery's shortcodes and in the search box, I'm going to enter button. Let's choose this button shortcode. So this is my button shortcode. For text, I'm going to enter purchase. I'm going to assign it a green background color and a white hover color. And let's save. I'm going to save this page as a draft. And let's view this page. So this is my button. In order to add it to my slider here, I will need to copy its shortcode. In order to do that, I'm going to click on this classic mode button in order to enter WordPress Bakery's backend editor. And over here, we can see the button shortcode. So you will want to select the shortcode starting from the opening bracket all the way to the closing bracket. You do not want to select this VC row. You do not want to select VC column. Only select the button shortcode. So starting from the opening bracket all the way to the closing bracket. Now I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go back to my slider. I'm going to select the button and here I'm going to delete the current shortcode and I'm going to paste my own. Let's save the slider. And let's refresh the page. And sure enough, this button has been replaced. Now using this method here, by pasting a shortcode into a text layer, you can add pretty much any static shortcode. 
And I say static because if you try adding a short code that requires JavaScript, such as a testimonial slider, that short code might not work as expected because of a possible JavaScript conflict with revolution slider. But as I said, you can add pretty much any static short code this way. And when you're adding short codes, you should keep in mind that sometimes Revolution Slider can apply its own styles. So for example, if your button doesn't have the typography that you were expecting, you should click on this style tab here and check the typography settings for that layer. So that brings this video to a wrap. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any suggestions for topics that you would like to see covered in upcoming video tutorials, you can let us know in the comment section. Thank you for watching and thank you for using our themes.